And welcome aboard to the presentation of the FHSAA 2020 Boys Basketball Class 5A Region 1 semifinal here from Rickards High School. It's the Raiders and the Indians from Choctaw. 2-3 to end this three seed in a matchup here for the regional semi. A spot in the final eight is on the line. Andrew Duke, James Ward here on the NFHS Network, powered by the Varsity Sports Network. The opening tip is going to go to the Indians. And it's going to be Jameel Bowles to start things off for Choctaw. 7.50 and counting. C.J. Matthews will be guarded here by Zachary White. Matthews left-handed dribble. Gets it to the foul line, looking for some distribution, and the record student section is getting off and rolling as they file in here over at the far side. Take with the left hand. It's going to be a kick on out to Bowles in the lane. Feet underneath, and it's rejected by McGriff, and the Raiders stand tall in their first defensive possession. So far, defending the Raider done well, and that'll get the Rowdy Raiders student section up and rolling. Choctaw now on defense over to the senior. Gentry Spark back to Ray Ray Robinson, the transfer from the Orlando area. A key asset to the engine that is this Rickards Raiders machine. With the right-handed dribble, it's going to be Kavarius Taylor, the leading scorer on this team. Number five, also known as KJ, averaging northwards of 14 points a game. Zach White in the lane, a little hang and bang off the front rim, does not go. Rebound to the Indians, and they're going to look to push. Left-hand dribble by Bowles over in the corner. Triple from the near side off the iron. Does not go. Rebound's going to be corralled underneath by Pettis. Shot attempt rattles around. No good. Back to KJ. Head up, and he's going to bring the ball to the front court. Sparks over in the corner. Zach White, little baseline. Jay stop and pop. Doesn't go. Bowles get the rebound. We are still scoreless. Six and a half to go in the first quarter. 90-plus seconds into this ball game. Couple missed shots, a little playoff nerves going here for both of these squads in the early going. Matthews will give back to McGowan, number zero. On back to Matthews, right-handed dribble to the elbow. He gets stood up by Zach White. Triple from the right side, doesn't go either. Underneath, and KJ's gonna come away with the rebound. It's a five on three, four on three if the Raiders run a run with it. Corner, Zach White, baseline drive. Good give underneath, and foul from behind is McGriff. And we've seen it all over the place. James, you got to love a big man who sinks some free throws. And here comes the full court for the Raiders. Coach Eli Bryan, of course, been with the program for over a decade. He'll tell you he's been in this game for quite some time. It's about the defense. It's about the defense, the will, and the rebounds. And this is a records team that we've seen a couple times this season. If they play together and they're hitting the glass. They can run with pretty much anybody here in North Florida. Robinson thought about the pass out. Good defense and good decision making to get it to Zach White over here on the near side. 5.30 to go in quarter number one. A little stop and pop for Zach White. Does not go. Tie up with the jump ball. This one should stay with Rickards as Choctaw got the opening tip. So, of course, Choctaw will hit the next one coming here, basket underneath. It's going to be an inbound to Kavarius Taylor. KJ will be the trigger man for the Rickards Raiders. Turn on over to the near side, up to Zach White. Feed underneath. Give McGriff some action down low off the side rim. Does not go. He's got to deal with a big 6'8", 260 man, Brian Grant, here this evening underneath. That'll be an interesting battle to see how this one goes. 5'15 here in quarter number one. Still that two-point advantage for Rickards. Choctaw yet to get on the board. Matthews with the left-handed dribble behind the back. Zachary White gets the hand up on defense, though. Sparks away with the rebound. Looking to go in transition. Out to White on the wing. A little stop and pop long. Two side iron doesn't go. Rebound underneath the McGowan. And we're still some rough shooting here in the early going. The playoff nerves settling in here in the first three-plus minutes of quarter number one from the regional semi. Left-handed take from McGowan. He's guarded by Robinson. He's taking him all the way out to the volleyball line. Held from Sparks underneath, and it's going to be a charge. Great positioning by the senior, and he's oftentimes a calming presence on the floor, but you love the position from Sparks. He's a junkyard dog, a football player who we've seen excel in the backfield this year for Rickards in the fall, but now in the winter, Playing some good basketball as well, and that is a stereotypical Sparks move right there. A great student, 
part of the IB program here at Rickards and a smart IQ basketball-wise play as well. Thrown over, KJ from the corner, rattles around, and the home rim gets it to go, James. 5-0 Raiders pinching a shutout here almost halfway through the quarter. And an aggressive foul in the backcourt by Robinson on McGowan. At this stage, trying to force that issue. That's not a that's not a bad foul there. Not a foul. You'll take that not going a bad after. Foul. This one's going to be dribbled. McGowan now guarded by White. Or excuse me, it's Bowles guarded by White. Fed underneath. Sparks coming over in the rotation to help. And that's a tough sell. They're going to get Sparks on the personal foul. Choctaw off the grind. It was a three-minute, 59-second scoreless drought to start this game. But Gant goes one for two for the free throw line, so Rickard's still up two possessions. Robinson going to go into a little half-court set, set up the offense, left side pass to Gentry Sparks just off of the Rickards Raiders logo there at about third court over on the far side. Pass to White, back to Sparks, will direct traffic. Choctaw, the defense coming like six feet. One. Six feet off the three-point line. Feed this underneath the White. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound. Kick out. Robinson thought about the triple. Swung all the way around. Sparks from the far side. Side iron does not go. Tip back, and it's going to be a loose ball. Two Raiders colliding in on the action. Miles Smith, the new substitute, going to get on top of it, and Robinson will collect the loose ball. He's hounded by Matthews. Picks up a pick for Smith. On over near side to KJ. Robinson, White, trying to break down on the dribble. And it's going to be a push on the floor. It's going to be on the defense. So they're going to tag up McGowan with a personal. Third personal for Choctaw. One, three, and one for Choctaw in that last possession by Rickards. 3.06 here to go in quarter number one. Robinson, trigger man, goes easy to Smith, down low, kick out KJ, back to Robinson, good baseline drive, and up and under does not go. Tried to hit the quick outlet, did the Indians on the save attempt, and they're going to say was unable to save it. The new substitute, Ezra McKenna, he's the 6'6", 195 junior. So that looks like it's going to be tough Sledding here for Rickards is the Indians have a couple rim protectors down there trying to prevent the drive. We'll see how that holds up and how Rickards counters here. 2.52 to go in quarter number one. Four point advantage for the hometown. Rickards Raiders, the number two seed here in region one. A little stop and pop. And how about the stroke from the new substitute? Kent Carroll getting on the scoreboard. Largest lead of the game up to six. Corner, the triple near side. It's long. KJ rebound out and running. Zach White in transition off the glass and down. And Rickards Raiders starting to get it going. Nine to one. Nine to one here. Rickards rolling. The defense is strong. Choctaw a little cold from the field right now. Gotten a couple good looks. All been challenged by Rickards, making them tough shots. But nothing fallen from the open court here in the first 545. Take in the paint. Good body adjustment, but great positioning defensively for Smith. Counter going. KJ has Robinson on the wing. He'll hold. Guarded defensively by Bowles of Choctaw. Pushing this one out and crowding it. Nice shifting defense here for Choctaw. Active feet. Rickards is going to try to move it around, see what they can get. Triple from KJ. Sirem doesn't go. Smith in there. Can't get the rebound. That's going to go to Javarius Young of the Indians. So we're over six minutes to play here. 135 remaining in quarter number one. Good help side deep from Smith. Makes the shot very tough. Rebound underneath by McKenna. Shot attempt. Another one doesn't go off the side rim. Smith with the rebound. Outlet to KJ. Tries to split the double team. Gets ripped by Young of Choctaw. Matthews in the backcourt. 115 to go here in quarter number one. Loses the handle temporarily. Handoff trying to turn the corner is Raymond Clay. Smith in traffic protecting the rim, but they're going to tag him up with the foul on the body. Clay winds it up, and the right is two for two. So Choctaw, all three of their points from the free throw line. No live baskets for the Indians. Here comes a little full court pressure. Oh, and over and back there on Smith, and this one's going to go back to the Indians. So an opportunity with the empty possession by Rickards of Choctaw to 
cave into this lead, which at one point was up to eight before the timeout at nine to one. 60 seconds to go, Choctaw seven minutes without a field goal. Swung around over to the corner to the new substitute, Robinson. Oh no, that's a second personal on Robinson with the reach. Of course, your trusty point guard for the Rickards Raiders, and I think you gotta take him out. Yes, you gotta take him out. So Sparks is gonna come into the floor for Robinson. Thrown on inbound to Young. Back on over to Clay. See, he'll go back to the basket. Onto the perimeter, and it's a triple near side, and you hear Choctaw, their faithful erupt. Their first field goal comes with 42 seconds. It took them seven minutes and 18 seconds. seconds. Took about 7.15 actually. In the paint, off the glass and down, and a good basket underneath. Smith with a tough deuce. And he's going to head to the free throw line on the and one to try to finish off a three-point play. And this is an opportunity without the twoest big men off of the floor for Choctaw getting a breather. And Rickards goes at the paint and gets a conversion basket underneath. I think it's big. you got to take your chances when you can. Clay with a runner in the lane. Does not go. Active hands by Rickards. Jump, Jump ball. ball as Sparks gets in on that one. The arrow is with the Indians, so we'll stay right here. 21.6 seconds to go. Inbound's going to be underneath the basket for Clay. Because we just had our first open basket. It was a triple over here on the near side by Amaral Pettis. In the paint. KJ with some good defense. Tries to rip the rebound. It'll bounce around back to Pettis. This one's thrown in the backcourt. Got to watch out for the foul. And that's over a back. Oh, they're going to call foul over here in the backcourt. Oh, man. So one of the Choctaw players went to touch it to trigger the backcourt violation. But they're going to say it was a personal on Rick. Oh, no, my mistake. It was over and back. Over and back. White to the free throw line. Tries to rattle it home and does. So back to seven point advantage. Buzzer beater does not go. And that is the conclusion here of quarter number one. So with Rickards with first possession. Absolutely. So they're going to start with the inbound over on the far side in front of the cheerleaders. So KJ will throw it in to Sparks to get us going. Cross court pass. On over to the perimeter. A little fade away from the baseline. Tough angle and KJ hits it. A beautiful basket. Over off the baseline, fading back behind the backboard, throws a high arc in conversion, and it goes. Pug free, KJ in transition to Zach White, and it then gets jarred free. Last touch there by Roland Clay of Choctaw. So Rickards will get the inbound here with 7.33. Good play by the Choctaw defensive player. Here to prevent the fast break. Absolutely. Basket. And of course, did not foul either. So the inbound underneath to White. Throws this one over here. KJ, they'll give him the triple. He'll say, I'll take it. And he's the leading scorer in the game. Three more for Taylor. He's up to a game high eight. 12 point advantage for Rickards. So just when you thought Choctaw may be reeling this one back in, Rickards keeping him at arm's length. 12-point advantage, 7.13 to go here in quarter number two. On defense, it's going to be some help from Carroll, and it looks like they're going to get Taylor on the foul. Here from the Rickards Dome in Raider country. The big man with the ball. Grant kicks it out, triple, back square does not go. Zach White, great rebound for Rickards. Rips it out of the hands of Pettis. Bring it into the front court, through the legs. Little hesitation. Splits the double team, though. It gets scooped up and out of play in the Indians. A great diving effort by Pettis, but his shoulder touched the baseline, and so that'll send it back to Rickards with the inbound. So great. Zach White's going to be the trigger man underneath. Good effort by Pettis here to try to save the ball, but could not is he touched the out of bounds line. There you go, White swinging around to Carroll. He'll step inside, long two off the back square, does not go. The rebound with a put back, diving on the floor again. And once again, same scenario for Choctaw, though. Timeout, Choctaw. We saw that game firsthand, James. 
uh, last week. Baby Rattlers taking down the number two seed. Seven seeded DRS will face the number three University Christian. Fed on down off the handoff and strip. Great defense there by Rickards. And it's going to go back to the Raiders. Off the turnover. 6.26 to go here. Quarter number two. Carroll back to Sparks. A little three quarter court pressure. Coming from Choctaw. Trap over here near side. White gives it to Sparks. To Carroll. Back to Sparks. Heels on the volleyball attacking line. That's the gold line here. Of course, we're using the dark blue and black lines here for basketball. Sparks beats his initial defender. Gets poked free. Cross court pass. KJ steps inside. Long two. And a good conversion. Taylor rolling. He is now in double digits. Ten for Taylor. He has half of Rickard's points. Here in the early going, Matthews with the ball in the front court, 5.45 to go here in quarter number two for the Indians. He's guarded by White, tries to shove him off with the left hand, kicks it on back to Bowles, triple, does not go. Hits the backboard, the side iron, Sparks in transition, and they leave Taylor open, and he's going to go baseline, and Taylor with a great conversion at the basket. He's already got a dozen in the game, and Rickards opens it up to 16. A little hang and bang does not go. Carroll with the rebound, and Rickards comes away, and it's empty possession after empty possession here for the Indians. Triple for White. Oh! And that is a brutal one for Choctaw. And Rickards is running away with it early. James, 19-point advantage here. 5.09 to go in quarter number two. So Choctaw is a couple away from the bonus. Full court pressure here coming from the Raiders. Coming out of the backcourt is Bowles on over into the corner here for Pettis. Kick on out to Bowles, the junior captain. 6-5 guard, left-handed dribble. He's guarded by Robinson. Oh, good stab away there from Taylor, but they're going to say he grabbed him with the left, and it'll be the six personal on Rickards. And that is the second on Taylor. So Taylor's going to come out of the ball game. Smith will come into him, but some great minutes for Taylor. Game high, 12 points so far. Matthews with 4.52 to go is going to be the trigger man. Shot attempt from the far side, and it's a tie-up. This one should go back to Rickards on the jump ball. And Will. So we'll switch the possession arrow as the Raiders get this one. Inbound coming from Miles Smith, one of the senior captains of this ball club. Needs some help in the backcourt. Zach White going to bring it up. 4.45 to go here. And it was an inadvertent buzzer going off here. It's going to be Sparks to give the inbound. He's going to be hounded by Pettis. Thrown into the backcourt to Robinson. 4.35 to go here in quarter number two. So we got it all sorted out. A lot of nothing. Basically an inadvertent buzzer from the near side. Sparks takes kick out of the corner. Smith looking for the trap. He's able to corral this one. Double team and he gets out of it. Feed underneath. Left hand wow. and a beautiful finish from McGriff. That was great power move. But how about escaping the pressure over here on the near side? Just some great work by Smith to get the assist on that one. 21 point lead on the other end. McGriff with the rejection. Underneath, Sparks is going to help out. And a foul on somebody. It's tough to see whether they'll get Sparks or Smith. Of course, in the bonus now is Choctaw with 17 fouls. So two for two from McGowan. And he's tied for second on the scoring lead for Choctaw. Got full court for Choctaw. Throwing on over near side, Sparks. And it's going to be a foul on the floor. They're going to get McGowan with the block. And so it'll be the fifth team foul on Choctaw. That's two on McGowan, I believe. So he's got to be careful as well for the Indians. 3.50 to go here in quarter number two. Swung around. Smith trying to spin out of this one. Underneath, good feed to Sparks. He gets caught up, and it's a rejection with the left hand. But they're going to get a foul underneath on Choctaw. And the inbound coming here for Choctaw after Sparks hits the second one. So put it up back to a 20-point advantage. Feed underneath, little hang and bang for Matthews. Nothing going for the Indians. Robinson behind the back, a little sauce in the backcourt. A little hang and bang. It's a 
foul underneath. And they're going to say infraction on Pettis. Successful trip, largest lead of the game, 22. Choctaw back in possession now. As they get it rolling underneath, give is successful. And then finally an open basket there for Choctaw. It had been quite the grind since they were able to get one in. It's going to be Young underneath with the conversion for the Indians. Robinson's going to be guarded by Matthews. Hits it on to Smith. Handoff. Robinson. Baseline. Oh, great pass. Sparks with Three. the triple. He's now got four. And Rickards is up by 23 here in the first half. Matthews. Spin move. Robinson with a hand in there. Near side. Kick over the corner. He hit from that spot already. Pettis can't get this one. A rebound by Robinson. It's a three on two if they want to use it. A little stop and pop. And that one off the back square can't get the roll. Good rebound by McGriff. Basket up and in. And the Raiders are rolling. It's 25 here in the first half. Underneath, thrown up against a basket. And it's a foul called. And Choctaw can't believe it. It's going to be on the offense. And this one is going back to the Rickers Raiders. Miles Smith going to need some help in the backcourt. Robinson, little three-quarter court pressure as we're back underway here from the Raider Dome here at Rickards High School. Robinson guarded by Matthews again. Fed on out to Smith. Four feet off the three-point line. McGriff with the left hand, and that's a beautiful turn. That is some good work by the big man. And we've really seen McGriff's offensive game come along. We've seen Rickards in the beginning, the middle, and end of the season. And Griff looks severely improved. Good take underneath yes. there by Choctaw. A much-needed conversion for them. I believe it was Young again underneath. And it will temporarily put it back to 25. Robinson will get us into the front court. 1.33 to go here for the Raiders. Swung around to Sparks. Hand off to Robinson. Near side to White. He's going to be guarded by McGowan into the corner. Thought he was going to stay in there. A little miscommunication, but Rickard's able to weather the storm. Sparks back on the ball now. 70 seconds to go before the break. On over. White, of course, no shot clock in the state of Florida. They can do this as long as Choctaw let them. Shot attempt and no go. Oh, good rebound by McGriff. But they're going to say offensive foul on Rickard's. McGowan goes two for two, and Rickards will get us rolling once again. So 30, 23 point lead, excuse me. 50 seconds and counting, loose ball on the floor. Smith with a beautiful effort to give it back to Sparks. Throws it over his head into the calming senior. He's gonna look to get it going. Poked free defensively by Young, but Sparks able to corral it. Gives it back to Kent Carroll. Over to the far side to Zach White. Box and one for Choco. Thrown on around for Robinson. Thrown around over to Sparks. And he's guarded. It's a 13 on 13 for McKenna. Sparks trying to break down his defense. And Carroll now on the dribble. A lot of lateral movement. They're not letting Rickards get north south. 10 seconds to go. Behind the back, Zach White with five seconds from the corner. Kent Carroll for three. Oh, it's a big one for Rickards. And that's how we'll end the first half. And how about the triple from the sophomore? Able to hit that one from the corner. A big way to end the first half. And so they'll go to the break with a 26-point advantage. The Rickards Raiders dominant here in the first half. The three seed from the Panhandle, the Fort Walton Beach area. And Choctaw get it started for half number two. Take inside the paint, twist it around, blocked there by McGriff. And it's going to go back to the Rickards Raiders. Robinson will get the ball, bring it into the front court. Little step back and try to cross over his defender, McGowan. Give on up to Zach White. A little sauce in front of the cheer little squad there. White handoff to Taylor. He'll swing it around, tries to pick up the pick. Little pick and roll. Beautiful feed to McGriff. And he gets fouled on his way to the hoop. Tempt off the back square does not go. 
Choctaw going to carry out the rebound and get us rolling once again. Into the front court. It's going to be McGowan triple. Far side does not go. Rebound underneath. Then the put back there by Pettis. A deuce for the Indians. Back to 25. We got some full court. Pressure from Choctaw. Coming all the way up are the Indians. Taylor now with the ball in front of the cheerleaders for Rickards from the elbow. Spins back out to Sparks. Pass on out to Robinson. Pump fake the pass. Gets his hand in there. And Matthews is going to come away with the loose ball. Underneath Pettis. And the block is from McGriff. But Pettis will get his own put back. And Choctaw on the board. So they start this half with a little 4-1 mini run. Here's Pettis has a couple open court baskets. Taylor with the ball now into the paint, falling backwards. And is he fouled or is it a travel? travel. And it's a travel as he tumbles to the court. Of course, like we said, it's a miniature run, but a run at that. 4-1 to start the second half for the visiting Indians. Sparks is going to be on defense of Bowles. Try to cross him over with the right hand. Throws it over into the corner. Back to Matthews up top. Zach White with some after defense on him. Robinson, McGriff, and back underneath. Matthews a little hang and bang, and he draws the contact. Gets the bucket and will head to the free throw line as well. So the run continues for Choctaw as they start out with a 6-1 run here to begin half number two so James we say it all the time it's a tough mountain to climb getting back up from a big deficit but you have to get it slowly and surely defense and from the free throw line is how you get it done my man or those are baby steps towards the ultimate destination baby steps indeed here but solid steps so far yes sir so Matthews is going to head to the free throw line here for Choctaw, his first points of the ball game, coming on that effort. He'll settle in, little left-handed effort goes. So Matthews completes the three-point play, and Choctaw's got it back to 27-1 run to start the second half. Sparks with the left-handed take. We'll give it back to Robinson. He'll go back to the center circle. Is hounded by Matthews. Back to Sparks over here on the near side. McGowan will guard Sparks. This one's back to Taylor. Trying to go downhill. This one's going to be stripped. And going the other way for Choctaw. Little hang and bang goes. And here come the Indians. Nine to one run. This one's not over yet. They say we didn't make the three hour drive for no reason. Five, four to seven to go. And we're back and rolling here for Ricketts High School. Robinson on back to Taylor. And they're looking at an 18-point advantage, which at one time, this one poked free by Matthews. Turn back into it is Taylor. Feed out, little baseline, Jay for White. And I think that's exactly what Rickards needed. Oh, and that's a third foul on Taylor. Taylor's working with three personals. His Rickards picks up their first of the half. 20-point game at the moment. On underneath to go baseline. Matthews back on it. 5.15 to go here for Choctaw and Rickards. Poke free. Transition. Sparks tried to give it underneath. One extra pass. And this one's going to be out of play underneath of the basket. So last touch by Choctaw. So Rickard's going to give us the inbound. Taylor will be the inbound man. Three men across the bottom block of the lane from the far side to near side. And Sparks, the lone man, is going to get the pick for White as we're back in action. Feet on down. Sparks in the perimeter for the triple for the Raiders. It looked like a little bit of a broken play there, James, with two Raiders in the exact same spot, but Sparks says it doesn't matter. I'm hitting the triple anyways. Off and rolling for the Raiders. They'll get it back to 23 as they've weathered the storm initially from Choctaw. Up and under, beautiful, beautiful conversion move. there. That's just a great effort by McGowan. Able to get the conversion. He now has four. Swung it out. Sparks wants another one. Side iron does not go. Good fight by uh, uh, it was Smith. My mistake in the paint. Trying to poke that one free. Taylor with the takeaway in the backcourt. 
and they'll look to get it rolling. Robinson on the far side, trying to break down the big man. Good pass underneath. And they're going to get a foul. foul underneath. That's going to be on the big man, Grant. And so it was off the pass for Robinson. So, of course, it's not a shooting foul. But he will have the inbound underneath Will Robinson. Up top to Taylor. And he'll look to recycle this one and get it rolled. Sparks back to Robinson. Got a 2-3 matchup for Chotov. This one over on the far side. Turnover for Rickards. Yes. Young Mr. Carroll, you are back into the ball game. So the sophomore, the transfer from Florida High last year, got some good minutes for the Seminoles down there in Southwood. We'll get some more experience here as he gets some good minutes on the season and had that big buzzer beater triple to half number one. Step back, thought about it. It's going to be Carroll underneath, and it's going to be a foul. Second free throw is good as well. So Choctaw hanging around here, 19 points is the deficit. Still here in quarter number three. Zach White, a little through the legs dribble. Hand off to Sparks, the senior, guarded by Matthews. Spins off of him, they'll give it to Smith. Triple from Taylor, nailed it. And Taylor is still feeling it, 12 in the first half. Three more here, and Taylor's got a game high 15. Side iron does not go. And this one will be out of play. Back to the Raiders. 50 uh, support extension for the basket. Yes, sir. And this one, it will be inbounded underneath here by Taylor. Three, 22 and counting. Over to Taylor. Full court coming from the Indians. Zach White. Oh, lob to Smith. Oh, in the hoop. And that's on the highlight reel for sure. Miles Smith throws it down, but a beautiful feed. And that gets the Raiders faithful going. It's been a while since we've seen one from that depth. And here comes White on the other end. Give it back to him. And Smith over on the far side. And he'll circle back around. But that was a monster jam as Smith climbs the ladder. In the lane, Taylor with the hanging bang puts back his own miss. And Rickards is just feeling it right now. Weathered the storm and they are rolling back to 26. Rickards crowd getting into it a little more. Here Matthews guarded by White, and White with another steal, it's two straight. He puts this one off the glass and down, and Rickards puts it up to 28. It's the biggest lead of the ball game here, and no shortage of action. 2.30 to go, Choctaw with the inbound, 28 point deficit. Here it's a 2-3 matchup. This is for an opportunity to go to the final eight here in the regional final. Rickards trying to make it three straight regional final appearances. Take on the right side, give to Matthews here near side, collects the loose ball guarded by Smith. He's getting some pressure. Sparks now coming out on the new substitute rolling clay. Smith on the floor. And they're gonna get Smith with a personal. The inbound coming from Choctaws. They get a stack set up here. Don't need to run it though. Rickards <laughs> sitting back in the half court defense. So Choctaw splits up the gang and McGowan's gonna bring the ball up left hand. A little through the legs. He's working on Taylor. Inside to Smith. That one rattles around. Good rebound by Smith in the paint. And this one's gonna be ripped free, but they're gonna say jump ball. Great defensive effort by Young there. And so this one will go back to the Raiders on the alternating possession. That's so, been the story of the game here, is Rickard's defense. There you go. So full court coming from Choctaw. Try to get the trap on the sideline. Feed to Taylor. Oh, Smith open on the baseline. And this one's going to be poked free. Last touch by Choctaw, so it'll stay right here. So we need to inbound. Somebody's got to take the ball. And so <laughs> the senior, Zach White, will go over to get it. He'll break the stack, four-man stack over here to the left side. Sparks out to Taylor. Liking Taylor's shoes. Those are some new ones. He didn't have those purple ones earlier in the season when we were out here a couple weeks ago. Swung on to the far side. A little step back on the dribble here. Now baseline jumper rattles around, does not go. 
Rebound is gonna go back to Choctaw with a minute and counting to play. Mega the defense and Sparks rumbles over on the far side. Stabs that one free. He looked like a running back there on the far side, James, barreling into that collision. And they called a foul on Rickards. So it's going to be inbound. I believe it's the sixth personal on Rick. So Choctaw is going to be shooting free throws the rest of the half. Behind the back to McGowan. And a good conversion by them. That's just some solid individual skill right there. We'll cut it back to 26. Three-quarter court pressure coming. Sparks and Taylor going to play a little give and go in the backcourt. Oh, puts it on the ground. Good effort by Taylor. Carroll in the paint. He's going to be blocked by the big man, McKenna. And now Choctaw's out and running as we're under a minute. Feed into the paint. Right hand off the glass. Does not go. Rebound by Sparks after the young miss. Rickard's up and going now. We'll get into the front court with some pace. Taylor trying to break down his defender. Through the legs, loses it, gets it back. Sparks now in the lane. Up and under, does not go. But he will head to the free throw line. Throw number two, and that's good as well. As Gentry hits both of them, and now he's up to nine for the ball game. Choctaw going to get the inbound. 25 to go here in quarter number three for a scheduled four frames of action. It is a 28-point lead for Rickards, tying the largest of the game. And it looks like McGowan wants to bleed the clock a little bit here as they go under eight feet on baseline. And the jam well executed. for the visitors. So good play. Buzzer beater back the other way. Taylor oh. just over from the volleyball side of the defending court for Rickards. And that'll take us through three frames of action with the score, 31 to 57. We're going to jump out for a quick break here in the NFHS broadcast, powered by the Varsity Sports Network. Andrew Duke, James Ward. You probably know that GEICO could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And did you also know there's a local GEICO office right in your area? From cars, boats, and RVs to your sweet two-wheeled machine. Our friendly insurance experts will make sure you have the coverage you need. Give your local GEICO agent a call today, Jim Smith in Tallahassee at 850-778-4000 or go by and see him at 2508 North Monroe Street. Jim Smith, your local Tallahassee GEICO agent, 850-778-4000. And we're back here resuming it, start of the fourth quarter. Here from Rickards High School, the Raider Dome. Choctaw down 26, taking their time, going here underneath. That's rejected there by McGriff in traffic. Can't get that bucket to go. Smith will come back in for the rebound, and it'll be a foul on Choctaw. And they're going to get number 10, Jarvis Young. I believe that's his second personal. So substitution, Robinson going to come back into the ball game. Choctaw only scored 14 points in the first half. They scored 17 in the third. There you go. Some good minutes there by Carroll as he heads to bench, the young sophomore for Rickards. Robinson in the backcourt. Got to get it over the timeline. Smith passing to the front court. McGriff with the left hand off the basket and good for Rickards. Push it back up to 28. 7.15, Matthews with the ball. Swung around to McGowan, heels on the center circle. He's trying to break down Miles Smith. Lob up top, and McGriff coming over to help. He gets tagged with the foul, but he's making sure that that oop doesn't go down. And James, I think it's a good foul by most means. Make him earn it from the free throw stripe, because that was going to be a momentum swinger there. And that was going to get Choctaw going. Yeah, that was going to get Choctaw some energy. First free throw goes. Here for Bowles. So cut it back to 27 with 7.07 here to go in this ball game. Largely dominated by Rickards after the first quarter. And second one is good for Bowles as well. So inbound coming, Robinson. Double team. Trapped in the corner, needs some help. He's got no help. 
Got trapped in the corner, and this one's going to go back to Choctaw. And that's that's tough for the uh, the junior point guard, James. Got to avoid those corners against the trap. Good defense by Choctaw, though, to force the issue. Inbound for Smith over on the far side. Well sprung trap by Choctaw, and they used the uh, inlines as the extra defenders. Absolutely. 26-point game. McGowan, good effort. He now has eight to carve that out for Choctaw. That's just a good individual effort again. Behind the back, they're going to get white with the charge. And so this one will head back to Choctaw, who's starting to get a little life here in the last couple minutes. Inbound now to McGowan, who's had a great couple possessions here in the fourth quarter. Just some good individual effort playing one-on-one -on -one basketball. Oh, good feed good underneath feed. to Pettis. Pettis now with nine. Another solid offensive trip for Choctaw as they're starting to build momentum, but is it a little too late? Robinson into the front court. This will skip pass, and it gets White going baseline, and the conversion is good for the senior. Puts him up, and Rickards breaks the 60 mark and pushes it back to a 24 point advantage and calls timeout and we'll make plans to attend make sure you need to make plans to attend the 2020 florida high school boys state championships hosted by the rp funding center intense action takes place february 26th through the 29th at the rp funding center come out and watch state champions crowned in all seven classifications for more information visit fhsa.org and that's at the beautiful lakeland facility down there the lakeland magic the G League affiliate of the NBA team, Orlando Magic, hosts the state championships. Done it for the last couple of years. Beautiful facility down there. A true arena. And so a really cool experience for those teams that are in the final four to be playing in there. We have a player on the court getting limbered up. Looks like Miles Smith getting a little stretch for the Rickards Raiders over here on the bench near side in front of the scorer's table. So as you can see, 6.17 to go. As we resume action, quarter number four, it's 24 points. So it's not over technically, but Choctaw has a huge mountain to climb. Matthews for the triple, does not get it. Sparks going to fight for the loose ball with Bowles. And it's going to be a tie-up on the alternating possession. Is going to go to Rickers. Taylor throwing it far side to White. Hits the ground and throws it to the center court. McGowan comes away with a loose ball. And they will get it going back to the Rickards Raiders. Wow. And so a massive wet spot on the court as Sparks took the contact on the bump. And so they're going to need to get somebody over there to dry that one up. Of course, 5.57 to go here. 24-point game. Choctaw's in the bonus. As one of the Choctaw players, McGowan's going to mop up the wetness. Big old streak that Sparks left underneath you there. You can actually see it without yeah. the aid of the camera. Yeah, you can see it over here from the near sideline. That is quite the streak. Of course, Sparks, like we said, playing like a junkyard dog. Always does. The running back for the football team. Good four-year play, like we said, sound academically, as most of the boys that Coach Bryant has. Of course, all reliable Coach Bryant. Consistencies in the area. Almost some things are going to be certain. Rickards is going to have a good basketball team. Coach Bryant's going to be coaching up some good young men. Robinson from the elbow knocks that one down. Rickards going to push it back to 26. So they'll get it rolling underneath. Matthews with the left hand gets one back. So Choctaw and the Raiders trading baskets. A good play. Sparks in the backcourt trying to split the double team. He needs some help. Throwing to the front court to Robinson. Three on three if they want to play some small ball. Other side from the elbow. Good put back by Taylor. Beautiful positioning and just drops it right in. Doesn't risk putting it back on the floor. I like it from the big man. 
Drive in the lane off the back square. Tried to throw down the hammer, but doesn't go. McGowan gets the rebound and puts it back in, but how about that take there from McGowan? He's got some bounce. Went into that one very quickly. Sparks is triple teamed in the backcourt. They break it. White with a little stop and pop. Good conversion for him, and they'll push back to 26. Good basket there for White. He's up to nine for the game. Matthews tries to spin out of it, and they're going to get the foul on White on the reach. Referee crew been busy this evening. Here's McGriff going to come back into the ball game. So adding some more size is Carroll. And we got free throws. Getting a couple more minutes. And yes, with Choctaw being in the bonus. Of course, 18 fouls on Rickards. Soon they'll be shooting two. Not even halfway through this final frame of action. Cannot get the first one. McGriff gets the rebound off the rim. Taylor to Robinson. Good way to come back to the ball is Robinson. Slips in lane, but able to keep possession for Rickards. He looks like he's okay. Step back for White. Rattles around, does not go. McGriff on the putback, doesn't go. Gets his own rebound. Another putback. And he's able to hit that one. And he'll have an opportunity to head to the free throw line and make it a three-point play. And James, it, it kind of makes you think after the missed couple baskets... McGriff was wondering why we would go with two and we could try to have an attempt for three underneath. It's all part of the game, my man. Part of the game. <laughs> so McGriff's basket will put him at nine. Three for four from the stripe today. Off the back square does not go. And so stay at that 28-point margin. Chocked off. Back on the attack offensively. Triple from McGowan off the side rim. Taylor with the rebound, getting trapped on over to Sparks. Has Robinson over on the near side. A little crossover, Sparks going back to the center circle, and that's going to be stolen away by Matthews. Pettis, McGowan, look for the jam, and he'll drop the tomahawk over on the far side. And another one for Chuck Tall, and we'll get a quick stoppage of play. 3.39 here to go in the final frame of action. And we want to remind you that for the latest official news about the Florida high school sports, including results of all tournaments in the 2020 FHSA Boys Basketball State Championships, visit FHSA.org, official website of the Florida High School Athletic Association, www.fhsa.org. We want to remind you, you can catch live and on-demand some postseason events like this one on the NFHS Network, www.nfhsnetwork.com. Brought to you by the NFHS, the official online partner of the FHSAA. James Ward, Andrew Juke here. The NFHS Net broadcast powered by the Varsity Sports Network. 26-point advantage for Rickards. Three minutes and 59 seconds away from their third straight regional final, which is the final eight appearance. Seems like they're regular attenders, though... If things go as we think they will, they will be traveling to Lee. Out of bounds. Oh, no, they're going to get the bump. Sorry, my mistake. It was out of bounds, but Rickards maintains possession. Yes. This going to be a foul. Looks like they're going to get bowls on the bump. Pressure coming over here on Sparks near side. Over to White, and once again, Rickards if they want to, can be very content and try to bleed this clock out. Over here near side. Swung on in the middle. Tried to scoop it up and into McGriff, and it's out of play. Last touched there by Chuck Dahl. So we'll see if we can get a check in for Gadsden County here with this one as we have just under three and a half to go between Rickards and Chuck Dahl. On over the far side, Sparks with the 26-point advantage. Over here to Robinson, right-handed tag, picked up by Matthews. Swung around the right, watch the trap coming here trap. in midcourt. Needs some help, throws it towards the middle. McGriff diving back for it, and this one's going to be tangled up. They continue to roll around. It's eventually going to be a jump ball called as they stop the clock with 3.05. Here in the fourth. This one should be going to Choctaw and does. So we'll flip the arrow. And Bishop Kenny pulling away from the Jaguars. 
Crusaders up 45 to 39 with 148 to go in quarter number four. So we're still holding out hope for one of our five Big Ben teams on the road there in Jacksonville by way of Gadsden County. And they got to clean the floor. And if you want to tune into that one, that's over on the NFHS network. You can search Gadsden County, bring up that game, catch the final few minutes as we got a little bit of a runaway going here between Riggers and Choctaw. So this is the last of the panhandle. If these teams win, they'll be playing the winner of Lee and St. Augustine out of Jacksonville. If Lee wins, Lee will be hosting. And then if St. Augustine wins, the winner of this game would host St. Augustine. Foul called on the three. It was a miss. So we're shooting three, three free throws. Yeah, something you don't see very often. But McGowan, who seems to be the chief provocateur offensively for Choctaw here in the second half, looking to add to his total. Rattles around, gets the first one. We have stoppage here. And it looks like they have something dropped on the court, so they were just trying to clean it up. Second one also goes for McGowan, like we no, said, the, uh, shooting three. The substitute for Choctaw inadvertently unplugged the scoreboard. <laughs> They got to get that back on, and this one hits. So McGowan goes three for three. So it's essentially the three-point basket was converted. Taylor to get the inbound, nobody to get the ball. Robinson coming in late. Watch a trap. Gives on back to Taylor. Cross court. The trap will go with him. He'll give it back to Robinson, and he'll cross as we go under 245 to play here at the Raider Dome. Taylor thought about the triple, but decided time is more important. So they're going to spread this thing out. Trap coming right over to the corner. Right in front of the Rickards bench is Robinson. He'll take it the basket, give to Sparks, and they're just throwing it around the circle. Of course, no shot clock here in the state of Florida. They can do this all night if Choctaw lets them. Thrown on over. Smith. Sparks. Quick touches of the basketball. White will hold it for a little bit. Guarded by Pettis. Shovel on over to Robinson. Back to White. 210 and counting. White triple teamed, and he gets to Robinson somehow. Back on over to Sparks as we approach two minutes to go. On over cross court into some traffic. Robinson gets the loose ball, and he'll get tagged up with the traveling violation. Interesting sequence. And I mean, I think the chief objective was completed for Rickards, though, James, which is take as much time off the clock as possible. Matthews step back. Good looking trip for Matthews, his first three of the ball game. So it cuts it back to a 20 point game and it's gonna be a foul on Choctaw. I believe Matthews will get the infraction. There and it is, they're gonna tag it up on 15 Matthews. So it's gonna send Robinson to the free throw line. Of course Robinson was two for two last time he took the journey to the free throw line. Step back in. 142 to go in this ball game. Try to lengthen the lead. Hits the first one, does Robinson. The junior point guard. Coming back down to, the, or back up to the Tallahassee area this year. After being down south, hits both of them. The conversion, Rickards breaking the 60 mark, back and rolling, McGowan in the lane, and he's fouled. It looks like they're gonna get Robinson on the other end. So be shooting to Will McGowan. Will hit on the first one as Choctaw breaks the 50 mark. That one off does not go and a breakaway. Zach White has Robinson. He'll maintain possession, Will the senior. Gives it to Robinson outside the center court, drive into the lane, retreat back to White and he's just dribbling around waiting to get fouled. 
So McGowan will foul him. That is the foul that will put Rickards into the bonus. They now have 18 fouls. So they were already in, but it's a single bonus, so they're going to be shooting one and one. And it's going to be Zach White coming down to the free throw line. Does not make it. So this one's going to be back to Chuck Tall. So we get off and rolling from the far side. Triple does not go. Pettis going to track down the rebound for Choctaw. Spin in the lane. Fade away off the glass. Good individual effort by Pettis there to get the basket. And we'll head to 110. White's got open floor. Look for the dunk. Oh, didn't have enough for it. But he put it in. Made sure he got the conversion. Make sure you get the points. Yep. So he did, he did what he intended to do there. This one, it'll be Pettis, a wild right-handed shot, but he made it look good, and this one's out of play. Last touch by Rickards, they say. As there were three Raiders in the area, we thought about saving the ball. As the goodbye chants start coming from the Rickards student section. And we have some uh, mass subs coming in for Rickards. The platoon subs coming in. Here we go. Who we got for the Raiders? We got Vershawn DuPont, number 11. Feet underneath. Basket tip back for Pettis. Does not go. Rebound to Smith. And he's fouled. Also onto the court is going to be Benjamin Smith, number 24. Like we said, DuPont, number 11. Number three, Demarion Johnson. Going to get into the ball game. And so the five, Sparks and Smith. The two seniors will round out the five there for Rickards. And substitution Sparks will take a seat. The young sophomore, Carroll, like we said, hit the buzzer beater before halftime back into the ballgame. So we have junior, sophomore, senior, sophomore, senior on the court right now for Rickards. First free throw goes here for Smith. Second one rattles around and gets the hometown roll. So Rickards is up to three quarters of 100, and they push the lead up to 23. Triple for Matthew side iron. Tipped around, does not go. Rebound is going to be a triple from McGowan over here in front of the Choctaw bench. Carroll will get the rebound, and he will be fouled. I believe that's going to be another one on Matthews in the backcourt there for Rickards. To 30.7, the official clock. Of course, we can only go sigil, single digits for you here, which is why you see 30 on the clock. So from the free throw line, Carroll gonna put one on, up to six for the game for the young sophomore. Substitutions could be Matthews and McGowan. Great fought effort for both of those young men, and that's going to be the end of the road for both of those seniors. Some solid players for Chuck Tall, and they gave it quite the run here this evening. Rickards just way too much in the tank for Chuck Tall to handle, especially in that explosive second quarter. From the side, good save is going to be on out. It's transition. Smith gives it to Carroll. Oh, tried to get the jam, but couldn't cup it. And it leads to some points for Johnson. So Rickards essentially breaks even on the transaction as we go 10 seconds to go here. And they have a last touch by Rickards, it looks like, over here on the near side. So stay with Choctaw, break the set play. The big man going to step back. I thought he was about to pull the three there, James. It's out of play. Pettis slips on some wetness there in front of the bench. So now with three and a half seconds to go, Choctaw, this, unless there is some kind of strange foul call, this will essentially be the last sequence of the game. Triple near side for the big man. Does not go. And we are all final. The Rickards Raiders take it. Powerfully so, 79 of 52. The Rickards Raiders, the two seed, gonna knock off number three, the Choctaw Indians. So the end of the road for the 
season of the Choctaw Indians who put in a 22 and now seven mark. And the now 18-7 Rickards Raiders will be playing one of the Jacksonville teams. We're going to jump out for a quick commercial break, see if we can't get an update for you exactly who they will play in. Lee or St. Augustine come right on back for the postgame here on the NFHS Network.